Hi guys, this is gsnom.com and I'm here with the unboxing of the Huawei P40 Lite 5G. I didn't know if you knew this, but there's another version of the P40 Lite which has superior specs and a superior design and also 5G. Okay, so it's an unboxing, so let's talk about it. First things first, the price tag is $400, so it still keeps the device, the device within a reasonable mid-range areas. Of course, the design is better looking now, instead of the plastic bag, we have glass, at least that's what it says on the official Huawei website. And instead of the square camera module, we have a lined quad camera setup. This is quite a beautiful color and uh, the color choices here are crush green there's also special space silver and a midnight black the facade is pretty straightforward and similar to the p40 light the regular one now inside the box let's see what we got so here we should have the manual but we have a test unit so we only have the metal key used to access the slots Proceeding further, we find a hefty charger. By the way, the charging was excellent on the Huawei P40 Lite, thanks to the 40 watt charging available there and also here. Okay, and finally, a cable which goes from USB-C, which is this one, to USB-A and hooks up to your PC and your charger. That's about it. That's everything available inside the box. Now let's skip straight to our main star. Uh, the power button is here, it's more receded inside, it's not protruding, you press it like this. It also integrates the fingerprint scanner. So Huawei P40 Lite 5G. It was announced in May 2020 and it's basically a bump up in connectivity, 5G, a bump up in CPU and the display, but just a little bit, it increases in 0.1 inches in diagonal. The thickness is 8.6 millimeters. And the weight is 189 grams. Okay, so let's turn up the brightness a little bit. I have to admit, I've been playing with the phone for a tad in order to set it up so you can enjoy my usage of it. Now, aside from the thickness and the weight I just mentioned, I should probably mention that it's actually slimmer than the P40 Lite and its plastic body. It's 0.1 millimeter slimmer. And at the same time, it comes with a build made of glass a special 3D texture glass, which I can't get enough of. Now, the screen you're seeing here is of the IPS LCD LTPS variety, 6.5 inch in diagonal, and the resolution is 2400 over 1080 pixels. And we also have 20 to 9 aspect ratio and the goodness of the HDR10 support. Now, inside making it thick is the Kirin 820 5G CPU, which is actually a 7 nanometer processor and octa-core for that matter. Okay, now aside from that, we also have 6 gigs of RAM available on the device, 128 gigabytes of storage, which can be expanded with the aid of a special nano memory card slot, which is shared with the SIM card slot. Okay, so that's that. As I'm passing you through some of the features of the interface. I have to remind you that we're running on Android 10 with Emotion UI 10.1, but without Play Store and Google services. Okay, so uh, as far as the battery is concerned, what we're getting here is a 4000 mAh unit, and this one charges at 40 watts and via wire. On paper, it promises to juice up the phone at 70% in just 30 minutes, and it even has reverse charging, which is kind of cool for this price tag. Uh, another cool thing is that we still get an audio jack here, so that hasn't been left aside. Microphone, USB-C, and a speaker here. Okay, so I think it's time to discuss the camera. For the selfies, we have a punch hole here in the top left corner, which integrates a 16 megapixel shooter. And moving on to the back side, things get a bit more complex with a quad camera setup. Okay, so I'm going to go from big to small. The main one is a 64 megapixel shooter with AI and f1.8 aperture. There's face detection autofocus. Then there's an eight megapixel camera, the ultra wide one, and there are two Two megapixel cameras, the small ones here. Uh, one of them is for macro, one of them is for bokeh, then there's the LED flash and this time we also have 4K capture which was not, I repeat, not available on the P40 Lite. Which some people actually criticized the lack of 4K video capture because the CPU, to be honest, could have done it. 
Okay, uh, aside from that, I think it's high time we actually entered our website and talk to you about some other things, including uh, connectivity. Okay, so as we enter gsnl.com, you should know that the phone has Wi-Fi dual band, has Bluetooth 5.1, GPS, GLONASS and BDS, as well as Galileo, NFC and an USB-C port at the bottom, which you just saw before. Authentication is done via fingerprint scanner placed on the side in the power button. And once again, this is Android 10 with Emotion UI 10.1 and without Google services, but with an ever-expanding Huawei app gallery, which lately added the uh, ride-sharing app called Bolt, which I have installed here. It's an alternative to Uber, comes from Estonia, and it's quite fancy it actually replaced uber eats with bold food in some countries okay now this is the camera interface if you've seen huawei p40 Lite, it's exactly the same the more section has quite a few options panorama hdr stickers dual view light painting super macro high resolution shots if you want to take the full uh, 64 megapixel shots there's a portrait we even have a night mode even at this price range aperture and actually more things to discover including some cute AR stickers. AI is also part of the package and it's important enough to be scribbled on the back side here. It says a 64 megapixel AI quad camera. Okay, so that's about it. That's my first contact with the phone. Uh, I can't say it's big, clunky or thick. Uh, doesn't feel very slippery at the moment. I find the bezels to be quite big but not bothersome and I'm curious about the battery, the charging which was stellar on the P40 Lite and the camera because the P40 Lite camera was fantastic even during the night. Somehow for this one I have even higher expectations. This is about it. This has been the first contact with the Huawei P40 Lite 5G, 400 bucks, and it's dropping. The price is dropping in some countries. Could be able to compete with some of those new 5G handsets like the Moto G 5G Plus or even the OnePlus Nord. This is it from us. Bye bye.